welcome to my channel simply queen by Sherelle that's me the seamstress so what I have for you today is a mini photo shoot of some me makes that I made last summer in 2020 while we were all home under quarantine I hope that you will enjoy and please like subscribe and share this video thank you in the previous photo, I am wearing a jumpsuit that I made using McCall 7910. I made um, view three and four. The fabric is a heavyweight Ponte and it was purchased at the Fabric Hut in Norfolk, Virginia. Next, this two piece set was made using Simplicity 8921 and I made option C without the ruffle on the sleeve and the pants were made with simplicity 9236 I made view C and I absolutely love these pants they were made uh, both top and bottom of a lightweight linen and the fabric was purchased from the fabric place basement in Alexandria Virginia Next up is this lovely jumpsuit. I used Simplicity 8635 and I made View C. The fabric was purchased from aknfabrics.com. It is a um, really nice uh, fabric shop and they're located in uh, New York, New York. The back, as you can see from the pattern, does have a uh, crisscross with strings but I wasn't able to show that because to be honest with you I couldn't lace it up myself but I absolutely love this jumpsuit and I will definitely make a couple more next we have another jumpsuit this one is by Vogue and it's 1645 and when I tell you this jumpsuit was really 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 tricky putting together believe me um, but I absolutely love it. I stuck with the process and the results as you can see were just to die for. This one has a um, flap that comes across uh, the pant leg and it almost looks like you're wearing a dress from one angle and then pants from the other. The fabric is actually a quilter's cotton and this fabric was purchased from the Fabric Place basement in Alexandria, Virginia. I am going to make this again perhaps in a red satin uh, for Christmas. I think I have the process down now and I will um, do a little bit of a tutorial on this one in the future. Next, I am showcasing this beautiful necklace that I purchased from Jesus in Jewelry Boutique. It is a boutique that is online and you can find uh, Barbie Boss, who is the owner, um, on Facebook. I purchased this necklace probably two years ago um, with the intent on making something to wear with it. But... Um, the pandemic hit and I still haven't gotten around to making something specifically around this necklace. So um, I wanted to give credit to her new um, online store. So I just paired it with these fabulous Palazzo pants that I purchased from one of my um, fabric vendors, uh, which is Wren's Queen and she is located in uh, Alexandria, Virginia. So please go and visit Jesus and Jewelry Boutique online. I will also put a link to her uh, boutique in the description. Next, we have a two piece ensemble that I used using McCall's 7779 for the top, and I made View D, and the pants are uh, from Vogue 84. 99 nine, and I made view B. The fabric is a um, green uh, linen and this fabric was purchased from Joann's. I love this. I love everything about this. I love the swag detail um, to the rear of my top and I love the two big uh, 
thigh pockets on the front that kind of gives it a bohemian look. I've made this um, combination too many times to count. And in fact, I made several um, to, of these pants and, and have sold them at craft shows. This is a favorite. In fact, I need to um, repurchase both patterns because the ones that I have are just, um, they're just a shredded mess. So when I do purchase um, these patterns, again, I do plan to laminate uh, all of the sizes. Next is a dress I used McCall's 7802. This is a combination of pattern pieces. I took the bodice from dress A and made it sleeveless and I paired it with the bottom of view D. The fabric is an Ankara fabric that I purchased from Wren's Queen Boutique, which is located in Alexandria, Virginia. Here I am wearing a traditional Nigerian head wrap. It is called a gele. And this was purchased already put together um, from Wren Queen's Boutique in Alexandria, Virginia. I absolutely love traditional Nigerian head wraps. Well, this concludes my little mini photo shoot. I hope that you have enjoyed some of my me makes and um, I'm looking forward to putting together a, another series of me makes in the future. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. And as always, thank you and come again.